Hey folks, have we got an episode today of Genetics with Jeff. We're going to talk about the... Orange Crush. One of the biggest questions we get at Will Banks Captive Bred Reptiles is about our Orange Crush. A animal that was imported. Yeah, uh, it's an animal that Mike brought in in 2004. Uh, had a, it, it looked more or less like a ghost. It was a little more orange, a little brighter. Uh, in the time period, we... We, we assumed it would be compatible with orange ghosts as many ghost lines were proving compatible with it in that time period. Uh, we bred it to ghosts, in fact, pretty much right away, a couple normals, a couple ghosts, and uh, we wound up producing, to, to us, all normals. And, you know, we actually had created the first double head ghost crushes, you know, in circa 0506. Uh, we raised up those animals and actually... Uh, some years later produced double visual orange ghost crush and there's definitely a difference between the ghost or hypo and the orange crush uh, here within the collection. Uh, it was even uh, thought at one point that the animal was a codom because the hets have a pretty strong orangey influence. You can you can kind of pick them out if you wanted. They, they, they consistently have a little bit more orange hue to them, a little bit more bold coloration, without being too far out of the wheelhouse of normal. How long did this project take to develop? You got them in 2004, so were we got they one in one? Was that From a baby? Africa. Yeah, no, he was, I, in my recollection of the animal, he was probably maybe 300, 400 grams, so just, just about ready to breed okay. that summer. He finally bred the original male back to Hetz, uh, showing now the parent gene and established that it was indeed recessive. Um, it really it lost some steam also in that time period because codom stuff was rampant. That was what everybody was chasing, all the different combos and um, you know it, it sounds funny to talk about now but like lemon blasts and bumblebees and emperor pins, king pins, all that stuff was really hot back then. So it uh, a slightly less interesting ghost than all of the other things that were available but not compatible with ghost was a hard sell. So we shelved a lot of it, made a few clutches a year here and there, not really overproducing anything, but you know, not having female sitting there just absorbing resources, you know. That's you know, it's a business. So we look at it like, hey, this is space, space is money, food is money. All the you know we we break everything down and you know we, we weren't pushing anything on the orange crush or crush uh, we typically just call it crush here around the shop. And the number one thing about breeding, what I've learned, not being a breeder though, is patience. That projects <laughs> don't just happen the very first season; they can take many many years to actually develop and for you to actually come up with what you feel is an ideal animal and want to market to the uh, right. people. Correct. Right. Uh, and you know it's 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 taken a little time to see what crush works well with, and you know we've got some great examples we're about to show you guys. Uh, we'll compare it to a, uh, a orange ghost regular that everybody is familiar with at this point, or it should be, and see a side by side and and talk about some of those things like that. But uh, it's it's harnessing the ability of the crush, which I think is tones and brightness and orange. So it's going to go well with orange things, like, you know, we know it goes well with NG, we'll show you in a minute, and then, uh, you know, we, we speculate it can go well with, you know, things like OD, you know, uh, reddish orange enhancing things, black pastel, we'll show you in a minute, uh, things like that. We're, we're all about tweaking it and seeing what the best combo is or what, what we can, what we can get out of it to get the full performance out of Orange Crush with other genes and which ones sit best with it. Okay, without any further ado, we're going to start bringing out the babies because I know you all want to see snakes. Well, here we have the single gene crush and we can see it's got some brighter brighter tones, a little bit of orange. The head is, is definitely got a nice orange stamp on it. It's not really a pattern per se, but it's just got a nice overall orange tone. And here Great, that works. Thank you. Here we have the traditional 
orange ghost that everyone should be familiar with by this point. And you can see some differences in the animal, but you can also see some similarities too. And you can probably agree why we thought it may be compatible. Much different than the two that we just had out. Yep, this is the or uh, Orange Crush Pinstripe. Uh, also in the time period, you know, Pinstripe was a big deal in our collection. You know, Mike had recently purchased um, one of the first Pinstripes from BHB. Uh, in that time period, I forget exactly when, but um, getting, getting Pinstripe bred to one of the, the visual Crush girls was important. And, you know, Pinstripe provides uh, kind of a smoothness of the color on the sides and 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 kind of kind of stabilizes it a little bit uh, this particular one is, is a very busy pattern pinstripe but some of the some of the ones with more reduced pinstriping are, are quite visually appealing none of them want to work with us I, I'm, I'm watching as you're maneuvering the animal and the orange that's coming up from the belly real orange little bit on the face right. yeah I, right here it it's just really quite oh right there as well just very very evident right yeah uh pinstripe pinstripe was was a, a jump forward in the project just to, to start having some codons in it i believe that was the first one that we made and here you can see that the from from what the base champagne that we're all familiar with that this would generally be black and gray, these blown out smoky spots, but due to the orange crush being in there, you know, it behaves a lot like the orange ghost does in champagne as well, you know, in the mimosa, in the mimosa uh, blowing that out and making it kind of uh, bluish and smoky. But uh, as they mature, the crush champagnes are really quite nice looking, uh, that, that bluish hue uh, fades and gets lighter and lighter. That that remains. You know, we have a couple uh, adult uh, versions of this. This is the Orange Crush Inchy Champagne, and uh, it, it took a while to to get Inchy into it. And you know, we had to make a we had to make a visual Champ Crush and get it back to Inchy. We actually didn't have a lot of inchy uh, hats or pos hats that we'd created along the way um, really only 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 like so it, it was difficult to get it and, we, and then finally this is actually the first one we've made ever in uh, the 21 hatching season and this is our boy he's a, he's a hold back um, but now you know we can dabble with this more and go forward with some of the other uh, codon heads that we've uh, crafted along the way. Okay, this is a wow. Yeah. I thought those were great. They're great. This is beautiful. There's a total paddle pattern reduction here, but everything about this is amazing. Right. Um, he was a showstopper uh, when I was in the incubator that morning anyway. So, uh, this is Butter Champagne Crush. Uh, we've got a little... A what? Butter Champagne Crush. Anything for short? No. No? Okay. Nothing short. Okay. Uh, not, uh, the shortest thing is his little uh, ringer spot on the tip of his tail there. You know somebody's going to want to call that a butt crusher, right? It's possible that okay. someone might want to call it okay. a butt crusher. But we're not, we're not calling, calling it a butt, butt crusher. crusher. So please don't call it a butt crusher. This is beautiful. Uh, if you look closely, this animal actually has... Uh, two different colored eyes. Uh, this one is like a bluish silver, and then the other is black. It, totally different. Yeah. Hopefully the camera can different. pick this up because that's very intriguing to people. Yeah, he doesn't like the fact that we've pointed that out now. <laughs> so it's not gonna get shown. Hopefully it can be shown straight on to the right and then to the left. Now, is this a holdback? Yes, this is the only one of these on the planet, so he is in fact a holdback. Um, but yeah, uh, we're we're going to move forward with this. You know, Inchi in is once again really reactive with butter uh, and crush, so we we'll put Inchi into this and see what we can get it to do. Um, this is this is probably one of the more impressive combos that we've made. It's the most visually appealing 
so far. We've got a few other animals to show everybody uh, as we travel down this crush road. And, and that just goes to show you how from 2004, how you really just year after year, you produce and, and sometimes something as fabulous as this pops out and then that kind of starts it all over again, really, because right. then you're starting from this. Yep, for sure. Okay, so Jeff, can you tell us about this one? It's a yellow belly crush? Yeah, this is yellow belly crush. Uh, right now, it's, you know, a couple of us, this is the favorite combo and even as adults, they, they still look really amazing. You know, really bright contrast here. Something that, you know, Yellow Belly can bring a lot to the party, as we know, in many situations. You know, hopefully in the near future, we'll be visiting, you know, a Crush a Highway and Crush Asphalt, things like that. We even will get over to uh, the Puma Crush and see, you know, Pumas want to be kind of orange anyway. So we'll see how how orange we can make a, uh, a puma and uh, asphalt and all that. This has lovely contrast uh, between the black and, and orange. It's, right. it's most, de of all the ones that you brought out and, and have for an example, the orange really jumps on this one. Yeah, and that's that's just a great feature of Yellow Belly and uh, and we discovered that it's just working really well with, uh, with Crush and we started we just had one female yellow belly uh, het crush and popped out the visual yellow belly crush uh, not that long ago, uh, two seasons ago, three seasons ago. And so uh, we actually had to backpedal uh, from a, a breeder male that's you know, unavailable right at this moment for his photo, but we uh, jumped forward really far with a uh, pinstripe yellow belly crush and that was our kind of our most powerful male for a while so that's what we used to, to make a lot of things uh, moving forward with the crush project. This is beautiful. What is this? This is a butter crush. It, it does a good bit of control and it enhances the oranges. Uh, it provides uh, a pretty distinct pattern and as the butter crushes age you know that really it really just enhances and you you get really nice looking adults you know 80 ish gram animal and then you know look at you know a 2000 gram adult and you know it's, it's still a very a very uh, nice looking animal this is a fire crush and believe it or not even though um, Mike was the the first person in the United States to reproduce the Super Fire from the Davies line fire, the original line of fire. Uh, it wasn't until very recently that we were able to get fire worked into Crush with this animal. This is actually the first fire Crush. And we can see here that, you know, you, you've got the standard fire patterns. The fire dominated any possible pattern manipulation that there would be. but all the tones and the brightness, you know, when he hatched, you know, I knew like, oh, that's the fire crush. You know, it was unmistakable that, that that's what that had to be. Um, so, you know, moving forward, we'll couple this thing with things like yellow belly, because we see what it does with the yellow belly. We will then see what it'll do combined with fire, fire NG yellow belly, stuff like that. Uh, even the nuclear, uh, nuclear uh, butterfly, all those different combos as we move forward with it. But it's, it's actually been really hard to produce males of some of these things. Uh, we have, <laughs> I, you know, she's busy, but we have, you know, butterfly uh, crush female. So we, we once again jumped way past the single gene, but a girl. So finally have a boy fire thing and we'll be able to plug him into other stuff and and uh, expand on, on the fire avenue of uh, crush. The pattern is definitely busy. Yeah, I'm, I'm even curious if a visual uh, crush super fire would look anything other than just, you know, the, the white snake like we would expect. Uh, it's, it's not like a first thing to do with it, but once once we have an extra fire head girl kicking around, 
I know it may be something we try and see if we can put a little bit different color on the super fire and we make a lot of those too. This is completely different than anything we've already brought out. Explain this one. This one is the Crush Black Pastel Mojave. Um, th this, uh, there's only, I, I, of course I saved my favorite for last, but this is the second to last one, so he's amazing. Uh, getting, getting Black Pastel worked into it, I think was very important. If you look at all of this, this is like, to me, this is space that you can work with later. As a, we, we hatch a thing, I'm looking at it like, what else can we do with it after this? So we're going to come back in with uh, Yellow Belly, maybe Orange Dream, maybe Inchy on, on top of this. And there is a ton of stuff on this snake that we can turn orange. Bright, bright orange and, you know, striking contrast. and It's all building, uh, building yeah, blocks. It's blocks. It's, yeah. It's all, you know, two years from now. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Everything is like, what can I do with it in two years? Yeah. But It's vision. You, know, you have to have a vision. Yeah. Yeah. So when this one hatched, I, I knew right away that, you know, this was a major step forward. You know, we had raised uh, two het boys. Um, the the father of this snake has a brother that's... Uh, so this one was... The dad was a Black Pastel Mojave het crush. And then the other one was a Orange Dream Black Pastel Mojave Het Crush. I do not believe this animal is OD in my experience with some of our other OD animals in the shop. Uh, I think the OD, because I, I think the orange on the sides would pop just like crazily. Um, so we will be using that other boy uh, next season as well, which is you know fast approaching. <laughs> Oh, this is jam. Tell us all about this. This really is gorgeous. This, this is the Orange Crush Inchy Pinstripe. And this is one of our young breeder males. Uh, he attempted to sire some clutches uh, and just was not successful. He was, he was a little small. We were, we, were, we were hopeful, but he's definitely ready now for this season. And uh, we'll, we'll get him worked into, I think... I think probably the most important thing to do with him first is uh, yellow belly. So get that in there and see all this color uh, come through this animal. And he, he pretty much speaks for himself uh, on the level of orange and brightness and pattern reduction that we're able to see just with him. And it's the only one of these we've had. We've never made another one. So thankfully he was a boy. I, I, the orange that's coming out in the sides, the reduction of pattern from the entry, mm -hmm. I, and and yeah. the pinstripe, you can it's diluted for sure, but you can see it in there, correct? Oh yeah, yeah. And like I said earlier, you know, the uh, pinstripe is, is very strong. You know, it, it always has a presence in almost anything it touches. This is the showstopper of this project. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video with the orange crush because we certainly have. Do you want to add anything to this other than we're going to add everything to we're going to orange crush we're going to add everything to this that's the, the whole kitchen idea. sink the kitchen sink and the faucet yeah. okay anyway thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of genetics with jeff hashtag jeffnetics. jeffnetics and we look forward to seeing you next week now don't forget please like subscribe comment down below tell us what you thought of these animals click the bell, click the bell notifications hit that bell bye <laughs> what was that? Get this one rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep them doggies rolling. And my butt is rolling. Right. Uh, please, please. We're rolling. Absolutely gorgeous, Gene. What a bit. Morning. Popsicles. Popsicles. Oh, I can't it imagine is, it is hot. I'm fully lubricated and I do not like it. Dutch. Tell you what. Okay, so. Okay, are we ready? We're still roll rolling. Roll, and then I'm gonna come. Let's see. Well, we've got two left.